All aboard the- Am I recording? Yes. All aboard the hydration station. We got some juicy roommate drama. Something entertaining about bad roommates. But I don't wish it upon anyone because your home is meant to be a peaceful place. You know, if you've ever had a bad roommate or know someone who has, you know the drill. Spill the tea in the comments. Cheers, hope you're having a good day. Look at all the lipstick on my straw. Yes. Roommate got furious because they kept using my kitchen items, so I took them all away. Roommate, bro, F you for taking all the plates. I kept those clean. I ran them through the dishwasher the night I used them every time, but it's whatever. We have more plates. Same for all the other stuff you took. And now I'm gonna do the dishes, something you never do because you never cook with your effing pots and pans you love so much, you petty a-ho. You took a screenshot of chat. Yes, you did, because here it is. Just buy and use your own things, man. It's not that hard. They're like $1 Walmart plates. I don't know what on earth makes you feel entitled to use my stuff, my one of three plates and three bowls. I asked you both politely to stop using my stuff and Blake is the only one who listened. Okay, if someone has said, please stop using my stuff. You can respect that and not use their stuff. Like I get it to you, it's like, who cares? It's just plates and bowls and I wash them. Doesn't matter. I've asked you not to use my stuff. Thank you so much. Roommate stole and crashed my car while I was out of town, lied about it and moved out, ghosted me because she couldn't afford to pay. That is not just a little scratch. <gasps> Oh, you're gonna have to replace your whole door probably. Holy moly. Eh, I don't know. I don't know much about cars. Could you like pop the dent out and repaint? Or like, do you need a new car? Not a new car. Do you need a new door? Oh, there's no, there's more. There's more. There's a dent by the backlight. I'm just noticing that now. Ooh, yeah. I don't think you're gonna get away with that for too long. You can ghost me all you want and move out. But at the end of the day, they know your name. And if they file a report that you did this, I feel like they could find you. You know what I mean? I feel like you're gonna have to own up to this at some point. Okay, so apparently this is a letter from a roommate. Don't, oh, lock. You guys, I thought that said, <laughs> don't lock the door. We don't do that here. Oh, because no one carries a key. You've locked out three of us now on separate nights. I rang the doorbell legit 150 times at 2 a.m. Had to sleep on a homie's couch. New house rules, no problem, but just don't lock it anymore. You're asking the rest of us not to lock the door? No, because no one carries a key. Carry a key. I'm not leaving my freaking front door unlocked. I don't care how safe of a neighborhood you live in. No, 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 you always hear those stories. Oh, we never thought a murder would happen here. Oh, in the quietest neighborhood, nothing ever happens here. That's why they start going there. That's why the crisis, the serial killer, they start going into those neighborhoods. No. Absolutely not. Ooh, we got some text. I love me some screenshots of text. You guys know it is just the way to my heart. I'm in, I'm in it. I feel like I'm in the group chat. If you're not gonna recycle, can you at least put your food in the food bin? Uh-oh, LOL. What do you mean, LOL? I don't think you understand what that means. What LOL means? Yeah, considering the way you use it especially. LOL. I don't give a shite about recycling, just like you don't give a shite about respect and cleaning. What the F do you mean? Are you seriously being that petty because I don't clean to your standards? You just aren't going to recycle? Oh my God. This would be so annoying. This is the pettiest of all drama. You can either live with people or you can't, especially when it comes to cleanliness and how someone else lives and their lifestyle. It either works or it very much doesn't. Can we all agree on some type of time cap on shower times? I've wanted to bring this up for a while, but held my tongue. Waiting an hour or longer for a shower in the morning kind of screws up my momentum for the day. Very slow start. Same with that night when I want to get a shower before hitting the hay, not ideal. Someone wrote, just wake up earlier or go to bed later. I don't care about your well-being. Oh, okay. No, tell me how you really feel about me. We know you only care about yourself and have no concept of kindness. However, you live in a flat with other people. You are not the only person here. You are not the only person wanting to shower. The world does not revolve around you. In life, you need to share. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't think your like, big speech here is going to have any kind of effect on this person because they quite literally said, I don't care about your well being. So they're going to keep having their one hour long showers when they want to have their one hour long showers. My roommate thinks I should pay for things I had no idea 
they were buying. Hey, we just went shopping and grabbed a few Christmas decor. If you would like to chip in, that would be great. It's only $36 each of us girls. I have additional bills this month and this is outside my budget. I wish I could have told you before you went shopping. I'm sorry. Okay, well, you know what? This is this was handled well. I agree. I don't think it's fair that some roommates just go out and buy stuff and they're like, hey, this is your cost. They did say if you would like to chip in, which means they're not expecting or demanding it. That's kind of what I got. And I think you handled it great by saying, I didn't know this was a thing and I would not I would not have agreed to it because I don't want to spend $36 on Christmas decor. I get it's annoying, but it was handled pretty well. Roommate uses his phone the entire night until 5 a.m before falling asleep, preventing me from sleeping for the entire night because of the super high brightness. I was about to say, does he have a light on? That's his brightness. And I guess if your brightness is that high, I have my phone here in case you're wondering what I'm holding. And you're in that small of a room, it would quite literally light up the entire room. That would be so annoying. I mean, I sleep like an actual maniac and I sleep with like stuffed animals and pillows covering my whole face. So that wouldn't affect me, but I understand that's annoying. Roommate throws away dishes so he won't have to do them. I bought all our dishes and silverware. Oh my God. Can you imagine finding a garbage bag of your dishes that you bought? Dirty, disgusting, because someone didn't want to wash them? I would be livid, livid. Like why do people hate doing dishes that much? I don't understand, I get it. I don't mind doing dishes, but there are days where I'm like, oh, remember being a kid when your parents were just being an adult, you know, you, it's adulting. You need to do it. I would never throw away dishes to not do them. Not a million years. Oh my God. <laughs> that was intense. Hey, me and blank were able to pay all of August rent. So you now owe us $378 by August 31st. That's rent plus late fees plus electrical bill. That is very cheap rent. If you are not out by the end of August and slash or you haven't paid us, me and blank will make arrangements or you need to be evicted and will proceed to recover back due rent. I'm sorry, but you can't evict me, smiley face. I'm on the lease. I've talked to the leasing office about it. Uh, if you're not paying, you are sorely mistaken. Not what the leasing office said. So try again, honey. So I'll continue to make y'all's lives miserable until I leave. So again, nice try. Are you kidding me? This would infuriate me if someone is blatantly not paying rent and then throwing in your face like that being like i'm gonna continue to not pay and continue to make your life miserable you better save that screenshot you better go to the leasing office and say they aren't paying they're off the lease came back to my college apartment this morning with my roommates having done this what even happened like they didn't even try to hide the evidence what was this an accident or was this intentional were they angry because why why the wooden table oh the evidence the corpse the poor table is that a table a dresser i don't even know I don't even know. I feel like I want more to the story though. Why? Why? Roommate always pays rent in $1 bills. Rent, $200 cash. Okay, first of all, whose rent is only $200? That's the cost of groceries per a week. I mean, as long as it's getting paid, that's what's important. But how annoying to have 200 $1 bills. I understand. Oh my God. I could not stop yawning, guys. I've had the worst insomnia this week. Every night this week, I have hardly slept. And I'm on like day seven and every night is like progressively worse. I have the worst insomnia. I tried melatonin, magnesium. I've tried everything y'all. It has been a rough week this week. I don't know why. I mean, I've always struggled with insomnia, but this week, brutal. I signed contract for like legitimacy. I didn't sign it to be tied into when I had to leave. That is literally the contract, bro. What? You signed the lease, the renting lease for legitimacy, whatever that means, but you didn't sign it to be tied into the lease. That's, that's what a lease is. Yep. That's what the contract is so that you're there until a certain date so that you can't just leave. Oh, poor you. You clearly did not understand how renting works. Oh, we got a long boy. Oh God, this font is awful to read. If that's a podcast on Spotify, you can adjust the volume without changing the volume of the TV itself. I had my door closed and could still hear it as if it was playing from my own TV. My room gets too hot with the door closed, so that can't help anyway. Could you please, for my sanity, turn it down without making a thing of it? Sure. Okay. That was at 3.15 a.m. 3.36 a.m. 
Gotta ask though, am I supposed to just kick it in silence unless we're doing stuff you like? Obviously they didn't respond. It's 3.30 in the morning. They might've been sleeping and they said, good talk. Why do you consider it a personal attack when I tell you I need to sleep? The next morning, like every time I try to ask for some compassion, you deflect and tell me I do the same thing, except me doing that has never actually been an issue for you, or at least not enough that you mention it to me otherwise. The repetitive clips and screaming from chiseled Adonis, the droning monotone of that other sports guy, the group chatter and fluctuating yelling and laughing from the D&D podcast last night, and the nasally blah blah of the guy currently describing the events of Magna panel by panel, all played day in and day out at volumes ranging from cricket scraping the plaque off my back teeth to I don't get paid enough to transcribe this shite and louder, okay, this is too much, is enough to have someone divulging state secrets regardless of whether I know them or not. It's effing torture. And half the time, you're not even paying attention to it. Constantly leaving your room with the door open, walking off to smoke or something for 30 minutes, or even just sleeping like a dead person, all while you're missing key plot points. Let me tell you, if this was about anything other than my desire to not be forced to listen to stuff I didn't ask to, it might make sense to counter my request with that unless we're doing stuff you like bull, st bull snap. But this is about my sanity, dude. I can't sleep. I'm going crazy. And it doesn't help that you get manipulative when I bring it up. Good talk, my ass. You act like there's absolutely no compromise available, no middle ground, I'm the only one being unreasonable, and I'm basically just demanding that you move out, which I'm not. If you were to get out of that mindset, there's probably several options, some more realistic than others, and I think it would be a good talk for us to calmly discuss these. I'm really not trying to be a dick, I promise I'm more than understanding than you give me credit for. I really do care. Please just talk to me about it without hostility so we can find a solution. They responded, I'm gonna be real, I'm not reading all of it. <laughs> I love the honesty. Maybe I can transcribe it in a YouTube video for you then. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even want to read all that. All right, if you have ever had or heard of a bad roommate experience, please share it with me. In the meantime, though, I'm out of here. Stay classy out there. Stay sassy. I'll see you tomorrow.